What's going on, Fence family? This is Joseph Conlon here, back on the Big Fight Fuel channel. Tuesday, December 15th, 2020. Yes, we're in my car, uh, where I'm just getting out of the gym. Uh, very nice. And we're just chilling in here. We're going to talk about the Dolphins for a couple minutes. And uh, this will be today's video. So, pardon me, because I'm wearing a beanie. It's... 37 degrees here in in New Jersey where I'm in so I'm absolutely cold I got my Dolphins sweatshirt I got my Dolphins beanie and I got my Dolphins mask which I was just wearing in the gym so we're going to talk about the Dolphins real quick the Monday night game last night and what hap what needs to happen in these final three weeks of the NFL season in order for the Miami Dolphins to make the playoffs but before we do that if you have not already um if you haven't checked out my dolphins reaction video against the kansas city chiefs yet i would appreciate that i will put a link in the description down below so that you guys can go check out this video and i will put also put a link in the description on my monday night raw review last night if you guys want to go check that out i mean after watching a football game last night, Raw was just an afterthought. I completely forgot everything that happened. Maybe besides one thing, but um, I'll leave the I'll leave a link in the description uh, for the Raw review as well. But let's talk about these Dolphins. Let's talk about the Browns and the Ravens last night. Absolutely crazy game. Crazy game. We needed the Browns to win so that we get a one-game lead over the Baltimore Ravens and we have the advantage against them because we I believe we have more conference wins uh than the Raven than the Ravens do. So we need the Browns to come up big for la us last night. They couldn't do it. They almost did, but the Ravens won that game uh 47 to 42. One of the craziest games of this season. A lot of the analysts are saying it's the game of the year. Uh you could agree, you could disagree with that. I'm going to disagree with that. We could talk about that at the end of the season if you guys want. But um, Ravens won 47-42. Um, they were up, the Ravens, they were up by two touchdowns. They were up 34-20. to Going into the fourth quarter, uh, Brown scored a touchdown. Baker Mayfield threw a touchdown pass to Rashad Higgins. Then Lamar Jackson had to go in bed in the uh, the uh, training room because he had cramps. Uh, you can believe that. You don't have to believe that. Lamar Jackson said it's true. Um, a lot of people were mocking on social media last night that he had to take a shit, which I thought was pretty funny. But um, uh, what was I going to say? And then Chase McSorley came in. That's right, three and out for the Ravens. Baker drives the Browns down, scores another touchdown with a Baker Mayfield rushing touchdown. Browns take the lead 35-34. McSorley injures himself on a run for negative three yards. And then when Chase McSorley goes out of the game with an injury, all you see is Lamar Jackson sprinting out of the locker room in the huddle on fourth down. And he throws a wide open touchdown pass to Marquise Brown. Browns go down, they score. Justin Tucker kicks a game-winning field goal for the Ravens, 55 yards, and they get a safety at the end. And the Ravens win 47-42, and they go 8-5, and the Browns go 9-4. Um, and four. So what does this mean for the Dolphins? What does this mean for my Miami Dolphins? Well, we're still 7th in the AFC. Right now, if the season was over today, the Dolphins are in the playoffs, and we are the seventh seed in the playoffs. But a lot of a lot of uh, analysts are doubting this Dolphins team just based off of last night. Sunday night, they said the Dolphins had a 39% chance of making the postseason. That was on NBC. ESPN. I read an article today. It's giving the Dolphins. A 30% chance. Yes, they're giving the Dolphins a 30% chance to make the playoffs this season. 
which I, I think is pathetic because um, you look at this team you're playing the Patriots. Yeah, they have the four wild card teams. Yeah, the Dolphins have the hardest schedule. I'll admit that. But um, you look at the next three games for the Dolphins, the Patriots, it's going to be a tough game, but they're definitely a, a beatable team. The Las Vegas Raiders, uh, they're a beatable team. Their defense is atrocious. I think Tua can pick apart uh, that defense. And then the Buffalo Bills, that's going to be a big one. All of them are going to be big. All of them are equally as big. But the Bills, as a scenario, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but the Bills could have that division clinched at the AFC East. And what if the Buffalo Bills sit their starters week 17 against the Dolphins? No Josh Allen. Uh, no Stephon Diggs. No Cole Beasley against us I'll take it I will absolutely take that 100% but you got to look at the schedules Ravens 8 and 5 playing Jacksonville Giants Bengals Browns are 9 and 4 they're playing the Giants Jets Steelers Colts are 9 and 4 they're playing the Texans Steelers Jaguars. Now, I just read uh, the four team schedule, uh, the four wild card teams uh, schedule, but, but Dolphins fans, you got to worry about us first. Before we start worrying about these other teams that are in contention with us for the wild card, you got to worry about your own team. You got to worry about the Miami Dolphins. You got to worry about them. Because they got to take care of business. They got to beat the Patriots this week. I know we're banged up. We're really banged up right now. I'll talk about that more on Friday on the preview video. The Dolphins are really banged up right now. But we have the coach. We have the defense. And we have the quarterback who can lead this team to a victory on Sunday uh, against the New England Patriots. And leading us into the playoffs. I'm definitely confident in Coach Flo. I love my def I love the Dolphins defense. And I love Tua. Tua played great against the Kansas City Chiefs. He might not have won, but Tua knows. Tua has came back. Almost came back against the Kansas City Chiefs and beat them. He almost beat uh the Kansas City Chiefs last week, but that's in the past. Um, you just got to take this one game at a time. So this week for the Dolphins, you got to worry about, you got to worry about beating, uh, Cam Newton and the Patriots, which going off of last week's performance for the Patriots, uh, the Dolphins should do pretty good on them on the defensive side because the Ravens, uh, the, the Rams, I'm sorry, they're a top five defense in the NFL. The Patriots only scored three points against them last week. And we're just as better as the defense as the Rams are. So the Patriots should have some problems against the Dolphins defense on Sunday. But the way we're going to have to win, which I'm going to talk about on Friday, is on the offensive side of the ball. And that's where the Dolphins are banged up the most. I think on defense, we'll probably get uh, Kyle Van Noy and Aladdin Roberts back this week. I, I, I hope. But on offense, that's where we're really banged up. Devontae Parker, Jakeem Grant, Lynn Bowden, Salvin Ahmed, Matt Breda, Eric Flowers, Miles Gaskin on the COVID-19 list. We're really banged up on the offensive side right now. And that's probably why the Dolphins, the, uh, these analysts, are um, making the Dolphins' playoff hopes slim. Now, what needs to happen for the Dolphins to make the playoffs? What scenarios need to happen? Well, I'll tell you guys right now. Um, we need to win out. The Dolphins, they need to win um, their final three games of the season against the Patriots, Raiders, and Bills. They need to win their final three games of the season. Or they can win two out of three but they're going to need help. 
We need the Ravens to lose one game. We need the Colts to lose. We need the Ravens to lose one game, or we need the Colts to lose two games, or we need the Browns to lose two games. So that's the scenarios for uh, the Miami Dolphins to make the postseason this year with Tua Tagovailoa. So I just wanted to bring that up today in the video, talk about the Dolphins a little bit, talk about last night's game, talk about the scenarios, and talk about why the Dolphins need to take these final three weeks one game at a time. So we had a big game last week against the Chiefs. This game against the Patriots, even bigger. I know the Chiefs are miles better than the New England Patriots, but this game against the Patriots, even bigger than the game against the Kansas City Chiefs this week. And I'm praying that uh, my Dolphins pull out with a victory this, uh, this Sunday. And I'll be back here with a preview, of course, for the Dolphins on Friday. But that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this short video. Um, subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 300 subscribers. I don't think we're going to get there by 2021. But it could be a miracle. It could be a miracle if we get the 300 subscribers before 2021. Comment down below. what. Let me know what you guys think of the Dolphins scenarios of making the playoffs. Uh, in the final three weeks of the season hit that like button if you like what you heard from me in this video follow me on twitter at colin underscore joseph and guys i'll see you back here tomorrow night on the big fight fuel channel for your aew dynamite review have a good night guys stay safe